Hey everyone and welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this video, we are going to understand how you can create backend API with Node and Express using ChatGPT. Let me first explain what is ChatGPT. ChatGPT is AI powered chatbot created by OpenAI. ChatGPT is the latest language model from OpenAI that was designed and trained to interact with people via a chat user interface. GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained transformer. Let's see how we can use ChatGPT. Search for ChatGPT and open the openai.com website. And right here, you can find more about the ChatGPT. You have to click on this try ChatGPT button. When you click on it, this is going to open a new window. Here you have to log in with the credential. I'm going to click on this log in and instead of specifying the email address, I'm going to continue with my Google account. I'm going to choose my Google account and click on next next and done that's it this is going to open chat gpt window and right from here you can search anything so what we are going to do is we are going to create a backend application with node and express using chat gpt so we need to first ask the chat gpt that the process of creating the backend with node and express so you can notice here right down here you have here a text box you have to ask a question to this chat gpt so you'll get the answer on the left side you have the previous chart then you have the clear conversation and you're also going to have the dark mode. I'm using this dark mode right now. So I'm going to click on this dark mode. You have the OpenAI Discord server, all the updates and logout button. Right here inside this text box, I'm going to say what is Express JS. And when I press enter, this is going to return an answer. What is Express JS? Express JS is a backend web application framework for Node.js designed for building a web application and apis what i want i want to create the backend application with node and express so i'm simply going to ask a question so i'm going to say here process of creating backend with node and express now when i enter this is going to show me the steps of creating a node backend application so you can notice here you have to first install the node and npm then create a project directory navigate into it initialize npm in it install express running npm install express create server.js file in the project directory then require the start express app in the server.js file define route using handling http request and start the server running node server.js and you have to test your api by sending http request to the defined route if you are not satisfied with this answer you can regenerate the response by clicking on this button when you click on it, this is going to regenerate the response. You can notice. And if you're still not satisfied with this response, you can click on this regenerate response as well. That's upon you. So now you have three answers of the same question. You can navigate between answers using this arrow. Now let me just follow all these steps and create a backend server. So I'm going to open the VS Code, create here a file called server inside this. I'm going to open the terminal here i'm going to say cd into server so once we navigate to the server you need to initialize it install the express using npm install express then create a server.js file and then inside the server.js we need to define routes start the development server and create the api so i'm going to first enter into the server here i'm going to say npm in it hyphen y to skip all the questions then i'm going to specify npm install express this is going to install the express application just out of that right inside this package.json here i'm going to say start node server.js and inside the server here i'm going to create server.js file now right now i don't have anything inside this server.js let me just leave everything as it is and then i'm going to ask one more question to this chart gpt which is create mongodb connection with express.js with mongos so i'm going to ask this question right inside this text box and i press enter now you can see this is going to show me the process of creating and connecting mongodb with this express application if you want to regenerate this response you can click on this regenerate response button there we go we have the response what we want from the chat gpt so what we need to do is we need to say npm install mongos and require the mongos inside the server.js file then we're going to connect the mongodb then create the schema 
then create the model using MongoDB schema and then perform the route and create the crude operation. So I'm going to back to the project, open the terminal. Here I'm going to say npm install mongos. Once we install the mongos, I'm going to copy this code and specify that inside the server.js file as it is. I'm not going to change anything inside this file. Let me just save the changes, open the terminal, and here I'm going to say npm start. When I say npm start, this is going to show the warning here use mongos set strict query false. If you want to prepare for this change, just copy it. And before this mongos, right up here, we need to say mongos.set strict query and then restart the development server. That's it. You can see now we have the message server is running on port 3030. Now, what I want, I want to create the API with mongos. So I'm going to back to the chat GPT and here I'm going to say create API in Express with mongos. I'm going to press enter. So now this is going to create the REST API with ExpressJS and mongos. So this will just show us how we can create the API in ExpressJS. So now if you use both these endpoints inside your application, something like this, then you have user endpoints inside your app. To access it, you have to copy this user's endpoint, open your API testing tool. I'm using Thunderbolt client and then I'm going to make a GET request to this users. You can see I'm going to get array as a response. The status score is 200. This means we have the valid request from this server. Now, right now, I don't have any user inside this database. That is why I'm not going to get anything here. But this chat GPT is going to allow us to create a working backend API. Now, if you want, you can create the auth middleware as well. So if you search for create auth middleware in Express with Mongos, so the chat GPT is going to implement a login route that takes the username and password and returns the JSON web token upon successful authentication. So you can notice inside this code, you have the login route with the JWT token then you have the authenticate middleware and then you have the get user with the middleware for protected routes so chargpt is going to create everything for you you just have to search for it so this chargpt open ai is very useful to make backend api and many useful applications practice with this tool and create a different applications with it so i hope you understand how you can create a simple basic backend application with chargpt if you find anything useful make sure to press the like button Share this video with your friends. Subscribe for more latest videos. That is all for now. I will see you in the next one.